I'm Eric Boardman, and welcome to Walt Disney Imagineering. Here, folks take flights of Disney fancy and turn them into three-dimensional reality. Over here is a model of a new addition to Walt Disney World in Florida. It's called Typhoon Lagoon. Chris. Hi, Eric. What is Typhoon Lagoon? Eric, it's 50 acres of fun. Uh, we believe it's the most incredible water park anybody's ever built. We have body slides. We have raft rides. We have Castaway Creek. We have Shark Reef. And the centerpiece of it all is our wave pool. Chris, you were there from the very beginning of this idea. How did it develop? We really started with the name. And we tried several different versions of theming. We, we tried one design that was a military bivouac from the 1940s. And we tried a logging camp. Do all your ideas happen here at the office? Well, it doesn't always happen in an office. We, we have some great ideas. We, we make a career out of drawing things on napkins in restaurants. Uh, in this particular case, uh, I was in my garage, actually, one night and doodling a, a, a couple of things out and came up with this little sketch of the boat stuck on top of the mountain. Our story is that there was this wonderful little quiet resort. And one day, this furious storm, enormous world-shaking storm, rocketed through the place, sending the buildings this way and that way, uh, and planting this fishing boat smack on top of Mount Mayday. Now this is the real thing, Typhoon Lagoon. But what's unreal is how much this place matches the original artwork. It's like some Rod Serling script where I've been miniaturized and placed in a model. But you can't do this in a model. Typhoon Lagoon has nine water slides of various shapes, sizes, and <laughs> speeds. And at 30 miles per hour, the fastest is Humonga Kawabanga. Hi, Mom. Bye, Mom. Lazy folks like me, there's Castaway Creek, where you can practice your kick and backstroke right through a rainforest. Kids love Catch a Kitty Creek, even the big ones. And then, of course, there's Typhoon Lagoon itself. This is so cool. You know, since this is the world's largest inland surfing lagoon, safety must be state-of-the-art, too, huh, Mike? Yes, sir. In the design of Typhoon Lagoon, safety was a main priority. We have a staff of 150 lifeguards who go through a series of extensive training and certifications. Each guard stand is equipped with an emergency stop that, if need be, when you can stop the wave action to make the rescue. Um, when that e-stop is hit, it alerts other people in the area that there's an emergency in that location. Typhoon Lagoon is our answer to River Country because River Country was getting so full. River Country in the 70s, when it opened, was revolutionary for its time. It was the first themed water park around. Uh, in fact, we've compared it to what Disneyland was in 1955 to other amusement parks. It became extremely popular, and we just decided to build another one bigger and better. If you ever wanted to do a Lloyd Bridges impression, well, this is the place, Shark Reef. Imagineers have created this saltwater wonderland within Typhoon Lagoon. Besides schools of exotic fish, there are bonnethead and smoothhound sharks. Now, they tell me they're quite small, but I decided not to measure them. And after a quick shower, surf's up. Okay, Mike, I've been watching you body surf. I want to learn to body surf. What do I have to do? It's real simple, Eric. 
Before the wave comes in, just start your forward momentum. We have these fins here. Just kick with, do a flutter kick with the fins. Once the wave starts to push you, just put your hands at your side and just ride it right in. All right, let's go for it, dude. Do it. might not be, but this wave pool is rad. It's big enough to encompass an ocean liner and has the world's largest man-made waves. Twelve huge chambers fill with water, then release into the bottom of the pool, creating waves up to six and a half feet high every 90 seconds. Okay, body surfing is probably an acquired skill. But I'm having a ball here. I mean, I love the rafts and the flumes and the slides and all that, but what I really want to do, and I know it's not allowed here, is surf. Can I? Can I? As a matter of fact, we have Ed. He's one of our best surfers out there right now. Yeah. OK, Ed, I got my totally radical jams on. I got my big stick here. I was watching you catch some tasty waves out there. I want to surf too, bud. How do I do it? And I've never done this before. Well, Eric, it's very simple. It's all in your positioning and balance on the board. You want to lay center of the board. When you see the wave coming, you start paddling to gain momentum. When you feel the board being pushed by the wave, you just do a quick push up and get your feet under you and you're off. Piece of cake, bud. Oh, I can do this. I don't know about those judges, but I give Typhoon Lagoon a 10, an easy 10. So long.